Hi, this is Heather from teachingfiddleheads.com. I wanted to show you something that I found and hopefully it will be useful for you. Um, I actually watched a different tutorial and I'm adding to that tutorial because there's something that's going to save you even more time um, in flattening your images and still maintaining the quality on Teachers Pay Teachers. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is grab your product that you've already made. There's several that I need to go ahead and flatten. So here we go. So you're going to open up your product. You're going to save it as a PDF. You are going to need this product right here. It's called PDF Toolkit Plus. It's $1.99 in the App Store, but it's going to save you hours of time. So let's export, and we're going to replace that. I've already got it. So then we're going to take this, minimize this here. So I've got my product right there. We're going to take this, and we're just simply going to drag that into here. And we're going to click on this text images here. And we're going to high resolution 300 dpi. And we're going to convert it into a PNG. You could do a PNG or a JPEG. It doesn't really matter. So, oops, sorry. For some reason it got pulled out. All right, so we're going to convert it. I'm going to save it as... Uh, one to 100, and I'm going to save it as finish. Um, I like to save them as different things and put them on my desktop until I'm finished with it, and then I'll put it into a different folder. So we're going to save this onto the desktop as one to 100 finish. Save. And it'll take a few minutes. Well, no, not a few minutes. It'll take a few seconds. Let's see. All right, here we are. So now what I'm going to do is take these and I'm going to go up to, I always forget it is, select all. Let's see. Select all. And I'm going to right click and open with preview and here we are we're in preview now I want to file print we're not printing the document we're going to save it as a PDF and I'm going to rename it again uh, one to 100, doop, doop, doop. to 100, and then I'm going to make it done. So it went from finished to done just so I, I can easily identify it. So one to 100, done. Oops, got fingers today. So I'm going to secure this as well. We're going to click Require Password to Copy Text Images or Other Content. I always use the same password just so I remember it for these documents. All right. And we're back. We're doing it still to the desktop. For some reason, mine, I need to... And save. Hmm. All right, so now I've got it. This is so cool. I'm going to exit out of that. I don't need that. So now I've got it on here. Because you save it as a... Um, because you save it as a 300 dpi, which is going to give you good qualities, you're, you've got it at a bigger document. So 
See, it went from, I don't remember what it was, to the 19.3. That is a lot of space that it's taking up in your computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to compress that file, but still maintain the high quality 300 DPI. Let it finish it doing its thing. Now you don't have to do the 300 DPI if you want to do the 150. That's fine as well, but I like to keep my images really crisp. And that's what I was finding when I was flattening it the other way where I was just saving it as a JPEG. It was being saved as, as a 72 DPI. And when I went to go print something, you can tell it was kind of fuzzy around the edges. So I wanted to make sure that I could find something to maintain the quality. So I'm going to hit compress and we're going to save it as 1 to 100 done again and on the desktop and save and we're going to replace it and guess what how easy was that so hopefully I have cut and cut some of your time in half I was doing this image by image and trying to put it all together this is the easiest way that I have found to flatten and preserve the quality of your images. Hope this helps.